Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Um, I'm really really excited for this video because we will be eating Singaporean food for 24 hours. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I am a Singaporean who has been living in Paris for the past 8 years. Time flies. Um, and yeah, the past couple of weeks I've been seeing a lot of Singaporeans who live abroad go back to Singapore for Chinese New Year or for other various reasons and so I've been seeing a lot of Singaporean food on my Instagram stories foods that I love and miss very much um, so I thought I would try to recreate some of them and yeah, that's what we'll be doing for today's video for breakfast, we are having the quintessential Singaporean breakfast toast with half-boiled eggs to start, we're taking some slices of bread and cutting off the crust for the full experience Then we're toasting the bread. On the side, we're bringing a pot of water to boil. When the water's boiling, turn off the heat and add your room temperature eggs into the pot and let it cook for 7 minutes. Back to the toast, so the usual filling here would be kaya jam or coconut jam which is paired with a slice of butter but I am not the biggest fan of that combination so I went for butter and sugar on my toast instead. So I'm taking a block of salted butter and I'm cutting thin slices of it. Then I'm grabbing my toasted bread and layering the butter and some sugar on it. And just to tie everything together, I'm making Milo. Milo's a chocolate flavored malted drink that every Singaporean child grew up drinking. I remember when we used to have sporting events at school, um, the highlight was always the Milo van that would come by and we would go and get unlimited free cold Milo drinks. So here we have our breakfast, we've got our butter and sugar toast, we got our half boiled eggs, our Milo and now I'm going to show you how we crack open these half boiled eggs to enjoy. Okay, so to crack open the eggs, we are just going to take the egg, break it a little bit, crack it open and then you use your spoon to scoop the insides out It's a little bit overcooked, these ones but that's fine and then you can add a little bit of soy sauce in oops it's maybe too much and a little bit of pepper okay let's eat We also like to take the toast and dip it into the eggs. Mm -hmm. We're gonna finish the rest of our breakfast and we will see you at lunch! For lunch, we're stopping by The Hood. The Hood is a Southeast Asian food restaurant in Paris, co-founded by a Singaporean and consequentially, features a lot of Singaporean food. I love to decor in the restaurant, it gives a really friendly vibe and had lots of Singaporean touches in there.
We ordered a Teh Tarik to drink. Teh Tarik is a hot milk tea, but what's really special about it is that the tea has been pulled between two cups to make a really rich and frothy drink, and it was delicious. To eat, we ordered a nasi lemak and chicken rice. Nasi lemak is a Malay dish and its star is a fragrant rice cooked in coconut milk. This is usually served with an egg, some slices of cucumber, some peanuts, and ikan bilis, and sambal chili sauce. We also ordered a chicken rice. The rice itself is really fragrant and packed with flavour because it's cooked in fatty chicken stock and it is the best part of the dish in my opinion. It was a delicious meal and I really enjoyed both dishes and as usual, the hood never disappoints. For dinner, I made laksa, a spicy noodle soup. To start, I'm preparing the ingredients. Here, I'm slicing up some fish cakes. Then I cut up some fried tofu puffs into slightly smaller pieces. To cook the soup, I heat up some oil in a pot. Then I added in some laksa paste and fried it until it's quite fragrant. Then I added in some water and the tofu puffs. When the soup came to a boil, I lowered the heat and added in the coconut milk and gave it a good stir. As the soup was simmering, I quickly blanched some fresh noodles. To assemble the dish, I gathered the noodles in a bowl and added in some of the tofu puffs. A few slices of fish cake and half a bowl egg. I then filled the bowl with some more of the soup, topped it off with a bit of sambal chili, and added on it some ground up seaweed to give it a little bit of colour. So we've got our bowls of laksa and now we're gonna eat it! Exciting! Mmm, so good! Mm. Very good, not too spicy! Oops! Wait till you mix the chili in! It's gonna be a little bit spicy! Drink the soup! going to finish the rest of our laksa and I think that will be it for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed um, seeing some of the Singaporean food that I love to eat and yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!